Hi guys, it's your curious and awkward friend Vasi and today I'm gonna take you with me to Chinatown and I don't think this needs any more introduction and I'm super hungry so let's just go and I will show you my favorite places that are actually not a tourist trap. And in today's video, I actually want to tell you everything about Chinatown, starting from the history on why should you come here, how can you get here, what can you do here, and most importantly, as usual, my favorite places on where to eat in Chinatown. Give you some very useful tips about things that I just wish I knew before going there for the first time. If you actually like this series where I show you different neighborhoods of London, don't forget to subscribe and also tell me in the comments down below which is the next neighborhood or area of London that you would like me to explore and also give you some useful information about it. Let's actually start with a super quick history of Chinatown. Well, Chinatown as we know it today actually started developing in the 50s when a couple of Chinese restaurants opened and also uh, some other businesses started moving in and by the 60s and then in the 70s, the neighborhood became a hub for Chinese culture. Did you actually know that the original Chinatown was located in Limehouse in Long London's East End, where Chinese employees of East India Company settled at the docks uh, in the late 19th century. Number two, how can you actually get here? Well, Chinatown is actually super centrally located and it's super close to Soho and to Leicester Square. And if you're coming here by tube, the nearest stations are Leicester Square, of course, and also Piccadilly Circus. And they're like tons of buses that pass around. So I'm sure you will have no issues getting into Chinatown. And what can you actually do in Chinatown? Well, if you come here around mid-January until February, you might be able to see the Chinese New Year celebration. And the, the exact date depends on the lunar calendar to which uh, the festivity is held annually. Actually, if you come at any other period of the year, don't think that it's going to be any less fun because it's still packed of activities and things that you can do, see or eat. So for example, you can go shopping, you can have a massage, you can enjoy, enjoy the local music or you can go to the supermarket. I mean, this might sound a little bit boring, but trust me, it's so much fun because there are so many products foods and things in there that I had no idea that existed then for most of them I stared at them for like five minutes and I still have no freaking clue what is that so I just buy it and hope for the best and I just want to take a second and thank a couple of uh, my subscribers who have been supporting me and I'm super happy to have you in my small community Amandio thank you so much you have been supporting me from the very very beginning and I'm super grateful to to have you and also Zerina Ahmad that recently joined already gave me so many video ideas and yeah thank you for all the love and support I'm doing this for you guys and for anyone that is new in here welcome I'm super happy to have you here on my channel and I swear it means the world to me and now let's go back to the video with some useful tips and information just to have a peace of mind before going to Chinatown. Most restaurants and bars in Chinatown have pretty extensive uh, opening hours and uh, they stay open until at least midnight and some of them are actually open until 4 a.m. And guys, this is actually my biggest tip is to make sure you have cash before you go because many of the places either don't accept cash at all or you need to spend at least 10 pounds in order to be able to use your card. You don't always get up to 10 pounds. Make sure you have some cash with you before going. And if you actually already have been to Chinatown, comment down below which is your favorite place to eat. And of course it's called Chinatown and you can find their Chinese food obviously, but there are many other cuisines that uh, you can find in there such as Korean, Malaysian, Vietnamese, Taiwan, 
Taiwanese, Japanese or alongside some European pizza places that to be honest with you I don't really suggest them to you and there are a couple of things that I definitely suggest you trying if you're going to Chinatown and these are the bubble tea dumplings buns baked goods from a Chinese bakery a hot pot and noodles for this video I actually wanted to do more of takeaway things that uh, first of all are cheaper because we are trying to stay on a budget uh, on this channel and also you can have a greater variety and if you have never actually had bubble tea before and you're wondering what it's that well it's actually a traditional drink from Taiwan which has uh, flavored tea and uh, powder powdered milk and it always has a uh, flavored jelly bowls at the bottom but in this TikTok video that I will have linked in the description down below and also here I went to the most famous bubble tea place in Chinatown so go check it out after this video and moving on to the buns we went to this uh, bun house that apparently had the most famous uh, buns that are both sweet and savory and oh my god you guys I really really suggest you going there and even if you don't go anywhere else in Chinatown you should definitely check this out because they were freaking delicious if you take one it costs two pounds eighty but if you take four then they're ten pounds here are our buns they're so freaking cute look at them what did, what did we take? Pork, beef, veggie and custard and since they don't eat meat then Ben should try it out which one is which Beef mm. Okay, so I can eat this one and I have no idea is it the sweet or the veggie? <laughs> it's very liquid See? Super liquid yeah. My tip is you kind of drink it and then you bite it. How would you rate it? 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 also for me. Can with Asian. Here's written, you know, like the flavor you, know, you pick. And I'm a feeling girl. So I always appreciate when places give you good feeling. For dumplings, we went to Gen Cafe, which is kind of really traditional Chinese place. Nothing fancy, you just sit down, you can see them making them in front of you. And for five or six pounds, you get seven dumplings, which is really, really great price, especially for central London. I wouldn't really suggest you going there, for example, if you're on a first date, but if you're looking for kind of cheap and uh, fasting to eat, this is the place for you. We also got crispy pork bun, which is mainly for them. Gimme, gimme. Oh, hot, 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 They're actually quite crispy. Can you hear that? <laughs> yum, 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 yum. So you're halfway through, yeah. right? And what did you just realize? The, the paper was still stuck. So how much paper did you eat? Mm, like this much. I would rate it like uh, 9 out of 10 because like it's a it's big but it's really cheap but it's not as tasty. Give it an 8 just because they were a little bit too good to be honest. Or if you're looking for something sweet, the Chinese bakeries are really a must. You can also take them uh, for home but oh my god they have so many different flavors and uh, interesting combinations. For example this is uh, one of the most traditional ones. It's called Golden Cake Shop and uh, you can get a custard bun or for example here decided to go with something different. Just got this taro cake. It looks quite cute and it's small so as we're quite full i thought this one is good it's good but i kind of want to feel more of the feeling puff pastry filled with kind of like the feeling of mochi how would you rate it out of 10? Mm, 10. for me yeah i, I would say like 9 because i like more sweet things and this one is not However, if you're looking for something a little bit more elevated and you're going there for dinner or on a date and you're not really looking for takeaway, I also really suggest you going to Four Seasons, which is a very famous Chinese restaurant. Or you can always go to one of these Chinese buffets where you pay a fixed price of 10 pounds and then you can eat as much as you want within the limit of one hour. 
How much she do you want to go to the buffet? Okay, if this video reaches, you know, how many? 500 likes, we're gonna go. Like, please, I wanna go. This is apparently the best supermarket in Chinatown. It's called Siwo and it opened in 1975 in London and it has introduced authentic Chinese ingredients to the city. There you can find anything from snacks and tea types to exotic fruit and veg. Of course, you can also find their crab, eel, lobster and an abundance of different types of fish. And guys, thanks so much for watching. It's been super nice having you on my channel. And if you haven't subscribed already, don't forget to do so because I am super grateful for every single one of you and I'll be super happy to have you in my small community and in my small family. Comment down below where should we go next because I need to know which neighborhood of London do you want to see next. Love you loads! Bye!